Good morning, welcome back. As you see in front of us, we have a box of 2024 Panini Donruss Racing Hobby Box. We're uh, still working our way through this box. We're going to get to the next two cards in the stack, and we do have a thick card there. Maybe it's a decoy, maybe it's not. Move this off to the side. We need to get a couple more Hobby Boxes soon, because I'm going to be working on the base set, and maybe the insert sets and so forth. Looks like there's two thick packs. Maybe we're going to knock out the last two hits or something here. I don't know. Ryan Blaney on the cover of the wrapper. Looking dwarfed by that championship trophy. Even though I know it's shorter than he is. Just the picture makes it look like it's much bigger than him. We will do a quick zoom here. and We'll scroll over a little bit. Show you all the print runs. The, uh, I almost said odds. That would be tops or everybody else. And he likes the print, the print runs, which I can appreciate. It gives you an idea of what the sequential numbering is going to be. And is this going to be a hit back here, or is it going to be... looks like it's going to be... I can't really tell. Looks like it's. It looks like it's going to be a hit, so we'll slide everything forward. And start off with a retro Jeff Gordon... Nicely done. Brett Moffat, red border. 14 out of 299. We have a Raja Karuth. And I'm not exactly sure what is I don't I don't know if that's the Pandora's box or not. Is it gonna be numbered on the back? It's 59 out of 79. So it's it's definitely a nice looking card there, Raja Karuth. You guys can let me know what the what parallel that is. MTJ. Cup regular season champ. Seems like he got that a lot. And then just kind of had bad luck in the playoffs. Arca Series champ Jesse Love. Of course, the Arca Series championship is really up for grabs this year. Uh, looks like what Andres Perez and LeVar Scott are the two that are leading the championship chase. And 12 races in, I was just, again, looking at the standings, 12 races in, top 10 in points, still have not won, but you do have, uh, I can't even think of the guy, William Sawalich, right there in 11th place in points. I believe he's 50-some points down, but still not being 18, he can't run the speedways yet, so it'll be hard for him to get into the top 10. It's not saying it can't be done, but it'll be a little harder. Brad Kay. A.J. Allmendinger, good to see him back in the sets this year. And then we are to our Burning Rubber card, so A.J. is going to block things out for us. We've got Burning Rubber. Who's it going to be? So I try to center it up here. Alex Bowman. And I don't think it's going to be numbered. It is not going to be numbered. But we have an Alex Bowman Burning Rubber Relic. little texture there. So put that in the hits, and strangely enough, no, no regular parallels. Kind of a little odd to see that. We'll go to pack number two, also a thick pack. And are we going to, looks like we're going to have another burning rubber card, so again we'll go to the back. Unleashed Bill Elliott, so putting some veterans in there i'm gonna say that's probably from well it's either from 2001 2 or 3 that's the only years he ran full-time for evernham we have an optic silver of chase briscoe not numbered terry labonte base card and i wish i could well it's either 84 or 85 park chevrolet i'm reading i'm reading some of the other stickers there I'm going to say that's probably 84, because if I was 85, I think he, uh, Terry would shave his mustache and grow it back, and I'm pretty sure he shaved off his mustache in 85. Don't really remember, at least mid, maybe midway through the season, but I, I need more decals to really identify, especially with Benny's car there in the background. Bill Elliott is next, and I'm going to guess that's probably a Bud car behind him. Probably Craven or 
Dallenbach or somebody that drove to 50 slash 25 during that era. Chandler Smith, this is where we would have started the pack. Harrison Burton, not sure why he's on his lid. But we have a red-blue of Ryan Newman right behind him, so now we do get our first parallel in our second pack. Is this going to be... This looks like it's going to be our last card here. So we have... Is this going to be another burning rubber? It's going to be another something. Which way are we facing here? Burning rubber. So, two relics. And this one is going to be Matty D. Matt D. Benedetto. So, and again, a, a really unique texture there. Not sure what part of the tire that is. But we got two relics. And I think that will be our three relics. And I'm pretty sure the other one was a Jamie Mack Daytona 500 burning rubber or something to that effect. But... It's hard to split, but I'm going to say these two are tied, but they're going to be tied for second today. That Raja Karuth, I think that's pretty pretty spectacular looking card. Not too often that a 59 out of 79 parallel trumps two relic cards. But to be honest, those are kind of weak relic cards for a hobby box. So maybe, maybe we have a one-of-one one waiting for us in there. Maybe we have a printing plate. Maybe we have something else in there that's uh, just waiting in those last few packs. But nonetheless, Raja Karuth gets card of the day. Like I say, I can't remember if that's the Pandora's box insert or parallel or what that is. I know you guys will let me know. But make sure you come back at noon. We'll be ripping a pack of the 91 Impel U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame cards. And then uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow we'll do a flea market find of the die cast that we picked up this past weekend down in the greater Cincinnati area at some flea markets down there. So hope you enjoyed the video today. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Our uh, our subscriptions are slowing down a little bit. Uh, we're right at 2380, so we got 120 to go before we hit that 2500 mark. And when we do, we got a giveaway planned. And as we uh, get closer to that, we'll uh, give you some more details about that. So anyway, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, come back at noon and watch the Olympic card video, and then we'll see you tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday.